This shit weird. This shit weird. Wait a minute, what am I missing here? Yo, big bro, where's the lady, male lady? She's right here. Cause I just see her drop the mail at my door, then just, yo, that's weird. Aren't y'all supposed to keep going that way? Nope. Are y'all engaged in organized harassment or gang stalking, man? Have a good day, brother. Let's go. You know that's a felony, right? Criminal stalking. You have a good day, man. Damn, y'all acting weird out here. All rights reserved without prejudice. You got to be careful out here. All rights reserved without prejudice in all places at all times. I'm hearing these noises in my house. The lady that doesn't seem to be dropping off my mail, it seems like they seem to be keeping my mail. I'm hearing these noises. I look out the mail, the window. I see the male lady at the next door, and then she hops and runs, and she goes back the other way. She's supposed to keep dropping off mail and going one way, but she's going another way. That shit is weird. 753-4367. 753-4367. This shit is weird out here. Now this is what you call a regular gang stalker right here, the one that's out here on the steps. All rights reserved without prejudice. Yeah, even the male people are involved in gang stalking. That's a fact though. These male people is involved with gang stalking. The male lady, I felt the presence. It's like the male lady walked to my next door neighbor's house up the steps so that she could be closer to my house all rights reserved without prejudice you know they have the synthetic telepathy and things of that nature yo these people is engaged in um it seems like this male lady has more than one job it looked like she does more than one she, it looked like she does more than just drop off mail now that's why you understand I have to have these posted, no trespassing, keep out, you see? That's why, because all this creepy stuff is happening with these male people. Now I have that male man before dropping off. Now you see the other guy, he comes back with the target bags. These guys are out here heavy. So you can see the guy with the target bag up there. Mm. These guys is out here heavy with this targeting. So, you know. These guys are heavy out here with this gang stalking. So, you see him with his targeting bag. So. I don't know. This stuff is weird, man. I'm tired of getting my house broken into. They be leaving these target bags. Hey, how you doing, big bro? What's up? Man, my house done keep getting broken into, man, and there's been a whole bunch of suspect activities out here, man. I was just laid down in the comfort of my home, and I'm hearing this rattling by my door, and it's like some... So it's weird, man, so I'm just asking questions. Sounds very How long you been in this neighborhood? I mean, Protect I mean, I'm not... I mean... Protect yourself. Oh, Home yes. is a real thing. Yeah, these. So listen. You cannot get so comfortable. Because if, if, if I may, if I may ask you, because I'm not even trying to. I got my face covered, so I don't even want to bother wasting my time on frivolous conversation. My well-being and my safety is like number one. You heard? Now I've been living in this area for about 16 years now. So these type of activities that's been going on in the neighborhood is new. You understand? There's no. A lot of these people that I'm seeing in the neighborhood, 
they're new, never seen them before. So, like I see a lot of people walking around with their Target bags, and then it's weird. Cause a lot of times I see people with Target bags, but their Target bags is empty, which is weird. Or they have a Target bag and they just got it in their pockets. So, is that what you I'm do? wondering like if it's a secret shopper, is this a secret program going on now here because i know you got organized harassment i know you, there's criminal get criminal stalking i know they had the neighborhood on patrol watch groups yeah and i know they had the community on patrol watch groups yeah. i know they have certain me, secret excuse societies me, as i make my rounds excuse me you making your rounds yeah what rounds is that life life yeah. oh so you don't even live in this neighborhood Actually, I do. Have a great afternoon, man. Then I can't have a great afternoon, man. I thought you lived in a biz. Listen, my apologies. You know, of course, this is public property. So you have the right to be anywhere you want, when you want to be. But damn. I'm just saying to myself, just because my house is on public property, People shouldn't have the right to just jump on my private property, you know? It's weird. That's why I had to get these no trespassing signs. You know, they just got people in the neighborhood just like this. And you don't know what the hell is going on. Gangster. And I see you looking at me because this is my house right here. So I know you making your rounds. But then I'm just curious. I mean... My house just becomes the Bermuda Triangle for people. Especially for people car carrying these Target bags. Now I know they got this thing called organized harassment. They got this thing called gang stalking. They got this thing called criminal stalking. Now I heard felony organized harassment is a crime. I'm always reserving my rights in all places at all times. You understand? So, with, within reserving my rights in all places at all times, you got to be cautious. A, this is East Flatbush. Now you got a lot of people in the, in, in the neighborhood. Listen, everybody got their rights, just like the man said. He said he's making his rounds. I guess that sidewalk that he's standing on right now is public property. So he can make his rounds wherever he want to make his rounds. Now you see him just waving his hands to somebody as if he's working with somebody. That's really weird. So, you know, I heard these people, they work in groups. You got human trafficking going on out here. You got sex trafficking going on out here. You got human trafficking. Organ harvester in. Now you see this individual, you know. He's carrying on on public property, like he said, just making his rounds in the neighborhood with his with his bags. So listen. Brooklyn, you gotta be careful with your wife, your children. The elders, you know, we ain't talking about the men that we know got the power who can defend themselves and chat about and talk back. You know, men who have logic and sound mind, you know what I mean? All rights reserved without prejudice in all places at all times. All rights now this guy seems like he going around the block. Yo, look at this wits. You seen that wit? Yo, he made a little right around the block. 
Yo, listen, he's on public property. I'm allowed to be on public property. Yo, do you see this weird stuff? Now, I think he's walking with a friend. I mean, a friend. <laughs> yeah, I guess a friend. You get what? <laughs> Partners. He's working, he, it seems like he's working with a team. I don't know about this, what is it called? Chosen ones, empowered individuals, targeted individuals. Man, this is not a good position to be in. It's a fact though. So listen, understand what's going on out here. I'm a right law operator. Do hair by holy. Oh, look. You see these guys? Oh, look. You know, we'll see. Let's see how spooky this stuff is, man. Why am I supposed to be uncomfortable, unsafe in my neighborhood? That doesn't make a lot of sense. That doesn't make a lot of sense. That doesn't make a lot of sense at all. That doesn't make a lot of sense. That doesn't make a lot of sense. That doesn't make a lot of sense. And it's the same guy with the target bag down there. Remember the target bag guy? He done walked around the whole block. Look at the target guy. He done walked around the whole block. What is this? Yo, Brooklyn. My neighborhood. My neighbors, to my neighbors, do y'all see what's going on, my neighbors? Look at this, my neighbors. That's why we have these no trespassing signs up. I gotta get more cameras, more angles. Yeah. I gotta get more cameras, more angles. Moxie! Mox! It's Now you know they like them those colors, orange, red, burgundy, pink, orange, red, burgundy, pink. This is the common colors that these people be wearing when they be walking around with these Target bags and they be driving around with the ghost tag cars. Mama I told you about the ghost tags, the cars that have the paper plate tags. Yeah.
Now I'm going to show you. This is for the... This is what the ghost tags look like in your neighborhood. Now we already know the... We already know the color codes that these people like to go by. You know, it's the red cars, white cars, blue cars, because it's red, white, and blue, and then gray cars. But it's also any color car. But um, when they doing it, when they, when they, when they doing anything in the streets, is any. Now you're also going to have a lot of cars that's out of state plate cars. You understand? And then these are the ghost tag car plates you have to be careful of. You see this ghost ghost tag plates? You see this? This is since 2020. Ghost tag. This is right where the guy tried to attempt to murder me. You got to be careful of these ghost tag plates. Ghost tag plates. And this is just on the news. I forgot the politician or the policeman that says, "Yo, be aware." So besides these ghost paper tags, these are just ghost paper tags. You see this shit from Texas. From Texas. You understand? So yo, that's a ghost paper tag. So then we got Bentleys out here too. Got a Bentley right in front of there. It seems like they be stealing the cars from other states and then bring them here before they take them wherever else they're going to take them to. So, watch out for those ghost tags. Watch out for these target bags carrying these people that's walking around with these target bags. Yeah, here's the. You making your rounds, Mr. Target Bag Man? That's the Target Bag Man. He said he's making his rounds. I don't know if he lives in the neighborhood or not. You see how creepy this shit is? This shit is. This shit is, um, this is too real for TV right there. Now, this is uh, targeted individuals, chosen ones. Yo, now listen, I'm talking to the people. The people that already know who they are, I ain't even talking to you. I'm talking to the people that don't know who they are yet. A lot of people, if you live in, listen, man. I can't even barely say the world. I can barely say the world. I can barely say the world. I can barely save the world. So listen, I'm just trying to talk to the few people in Brooklyn. Listen, in Brooklyn, if you got a good heart, it's light against dark right now. Spiritual warfare is real. So listen, forgive me trying to teach to you. If you live in Brooklyn and New York, when you walking in these streets, pay attention to these cars. When you see these cars, pay attention to the color of these cars. When you see the color of these cars, pay attention to the license plates. When you pay attention to the license plates, pay attention to the state. You understand what I mean? If you keep seeing a lot of license plates from out of state, take a step back and say, hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Now, when you're looking for these tags, you see all these out of state license plates, and you start to see a lot of them as paper tags. Take note of that too and say, hmm, you understand what I'm talking about? Now, if you keep, you know what I mean, being watchful and vigilant, you might come to notice that. You might see it, start seeing a lot of synchronicity. You might, you might just be outside and looking out your window, you might see one red car. Riding down the street. And then you see another red car riding down the street. 
Do you see another red car riding down the street? Do you see another... Back to back to back to back to back. Like, this is a fast and furious. You understand what I'm talking about? You're like, wow. Then you see a white car. Then you see a red car again. Almost back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Like, they on some Laker championship. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Now, take note of that. You understand what I'm talking about? Now. In addition to pay attention to the colors of these cars and these paper license plates, it's called ghost tags. You understand what I'm talking about? Pay attention to if you start, if you particularly see people just driving around with their arm out the window. You never really paid attention to that because more than like you're a person that minds your business. But when you see a person that's driving around the street with their arm out the window, now that I brought it to your attention, saying, hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because having your arm out the window, that's not comfortable. And having back to back to back, well, it's not usually back to back to back, but pff, one, two, three, four. It's like super intermittent. So you're going to see like five people hit them out the window within damn two minutes. You understand what I'm talking about? Yo, listen, I'm not even trying to preach to you. I'm trying to tell you to pay your attention. You know what I'm saying? Be on timing out here. You know what I'm saying? It's real talk out here. Niggas is on demon time. And that's a fact, though. And you know what? I ain't on demon time. I'm on light time. You know what I'm saying? That's my problem. I be showing too much love. But yo, it is what it is. That's in my DNA. Now understand, now I respect the game too. I had a lot of friends, so-called, and associates, so-called, and neighbors. Listen, I had a lot of people that I know and chill with, had good vibes with, then they on demon time. You know what I mean? A lot of them, I come to find out that they hated my guts. Even though in my face, they acting like, yo, you a cool motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But listen. Yeah, I think it is a little bit of honor among these, though. I don't think they, they, nah, they do hate me. I ain't gonna lie. But you hear what I'm saying? Underneath they hardened hearts, they respect me for what I am, though. Now, I mean, see, like that. They ain't got no love for me, but yeah, niggas respect me for what I do and who I am, because. They know I'm a real one. <laughs> but a real one gets you killed out here. That's a fact, though. <laughs> I wish I knew the truth <laughs> before I was too late. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have been out here trying to be a real one. <laughs> I would have been a quiet one with my mouth shut. Flex <laughs> on timing. You already know. Ah, 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 ah. You know what I mean? That's what Brooklyn is sounding like. It's a fact, though. Listen! And then also pay attention if you're going to see a lot of cars with their lights on in the daytime. Like, the f cars on in the daytime? Like, are you going to see one car, two car, three car, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Ten car, ten light cars on in the daytime? You're like, what the f? You already snow. Yo, that Mel lady, she dropped off Mel. When I looked out the window, she's at my next door neighbor house. She's supposed to keep dropping Mel off and going the other way, but she... Yo, okay, so she... Listen, the Mel lady walks around with the Target bag, just like he walks around with the Target bag. Listen, all rights reserved without prejudice in all places at all times. All rights known to me and unknown to me. Be vigilant out here. Yeah.
Dang, y'all see the plane? That's probably too light. That plane is not a real plane. That shit is holographic. Wait, where it go? Oh, damn, it's not behind that. It's holographic. I see like 30 of these planes. That, no, I'm lying to you. First time about to lie. Not, well, if you add them up, I don't pay attention to them like that. When I sit in my window in the morning time, I might see that plane at least once. <laughs> I'm sure it is at least 30 times a day. When I'm, when I'm by that window, they show that plane at least like <laughs> once every like <laughs> three, four minutes. Facts. It's a fact though. See, I, you see, I got the wanted out there. I'm, re I'm ready. As soon as I get that picture, you know, I'm putting that shit up. Remember, I told you, watch out for these white cars, red cars, and especially these trucks. Remember, this is New York. You know how much gas costs out here? Gas is through the roof in New York, and you got all these people driving trucks. <laughs> Something's wrong. Mm-mm. Where they getting all the money to pay for this pay for these trucks? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. to watch these cars out here yo men in brooklyn man you gotta talk to your family out here like this blue car this been this car been smashed up with the wheel for like years It's just spooky. This is spooky. Reserved without prejudice and no places 
at all times. All rights known to me and unknown to me. All my rights of indigenous, I invoke all my rights in indigenous people. I invoke my civil rights. I invoke my human rights. I invoke my natural law rights. I invoke my common law rights. I invoke my maritime law rights. I invoke my my mother earthly rights, my my fatherly rights, my mother God rights, my my rights to the sun, the moon, and the stars, my rights to the water, my rights to the wind. My rights to the fire, the rights to the earth, if I got any rights. All my rights, I invoke my rights. What are my rights? I invoke all my rights, all my rights, all my power. That's right. I'm standing on dirt. That's right. Now I want you guys to look up remote neural monitoring. When you walk around and you see people just standing in one place not moving, it's because they're trying to do remote neural monitoring and they're trying to read your goddamn mind. Synthetic mind reading, synthetic mind control is real. Some of these people are bots. Some of these people got microchips in them. Some of them got the RFI chip in them. Some of them don't even got no chip. They just connected through their biometrics. Um, they just connect.